Hello, my Geminis. Welcome back. It has been a long time. The entire month of November, I was in retrograde. So, um, you know, very busy. Couldn't get things done, but I'm back now. All right, so let's get it going. Real quick, for those of you that are new, you know the deal. I don't do date and time specific. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. If it doesn't, check the other signs that are in your birth chart. If you don't know this, this is worth finding out. And um, watch one of those videos, or you can book a personal reading with me, link to my website description box below, okay? Let's move forward. The first card that you got very much suits you, the thinking woman here. Logic, creativity, writing, um, what you're doing, your mind is powerhouse. You're brilliant, Gemini. You, you're very good at study. You're very good at the business that you do. I'm sensing very strongly a lot of um, material benefits could come to you in the future. I would sense, though, that this would have directly to do with I'm getting a female energy. It's coming up as the Queen of Wands, heavy wands and earth specifically. But this woman, she's a businesswoman. She's creative. She's fiery. She's a little out there. I could say that, that she spends more time with animals or seems to get along better with animals than humans. This is random. But they're, you know, um, right here, see, she controls that snake. But, but she doesn't control it out of restraining it. It respects her greatly. So this person is well respected, their word when they speak. Um, I'm feeling like there could be, again, something written, something that this individual is, I'm just sensing like a taking off. They're very passionate about it. There could be incoming communication going back and forth in regards to business and logistics. This could be, have to do with um, you, um, a, a very strong female and perhaps two younger males um, or just two younger energies in general, but I'm sensing a group dynamic of communication and creation and all sorts of things kind of free flowing. And then you get the second chakra roll, Archangel Ariel, which is even more encouragement to be creative. So for those of you that are doing your own business, anything in the creative realm, keep going. She is encouragement that you will find peace. There's gold surrounding her. There's something that's very lucrative or will be in the future for you, I'm feeling. <sighs> um, yeah, I feel like a lot of you want to work for yourself. You're taking on that strong boss energy. There will be a decision made to where it'll allow you to kind of come out of conflict and be a little bit more successful in whatever you're doing. But you've been waiting a while for this. It's something you have to keep putting. It's like, you have to keep adding to the pot before somebody will make a decision, I would say. It's like about having a lot of material, a lot of options in order to have success. Because if you're dealing with somebody like a really, really big boss in high financial um, potential or whatever this may be, this individual is not easily impressed. Okay, so you have to, they're not going to make a decision unless they feel like there's a lot of meat there. But I'm getting that you will give them what they want. You have the door to value here. Something, you're going to get clarity or truth that is going to allow you to move forward into calmer waters. This could be, you know, in regards to work. Let's see. I'm getting a couple things. In regards to, I just feel like something's going to be a little more smooth sailing. It has to do with either the written, because I'm very fixated on written. The written word or something is said. Um, but this, this comes from the mind. It's very... Yeah, I'm just getting a heavy exchange of words. Like words are very important, but this is good. This is good for you. And you're going towards you're going towards something positive in regards to work and finances. Now, for some of you that have children, you could be dealing with an individual, maybe a female or you could be this female or 
I don't know, I'm just sensing a coldness, a kind of disconnected energy. There could be a lot of tension and, and bickering back and forth. These could be small things over maybe specifically a child or just, you know, over emotions. I do feel like you may try to extend some sort of offer to somebody. But again, they're not the most warm individual. Because there's something that you're undecided about which way to go. I can't remember what other sign got this card. You know, you're at a crossroads. You're holding back. You don't know what to hold on to. But especially if you have children, that's going to be your main focus. Holding on for the child. You know, I mean, it's hard. It's trying to be patient, trying to find balance and mediate this situation. I'm sensing perhaps two children here. Maybe a girl and a boy. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be, but one is going to be a little bit more fiery. And then the other person, the other one's going to be a little more sensitive and creative. But, um... Or there could be two children relevant to you in the near future somehow. But yeah, I'm just getting really holding on to something. Holding back from holding your tongue maybe too. Trying to find that healing energy. Now, and then the last card you have is woman holding a coin. I, you know, often I do get, I think this card, even though it's got a lot of earth energy to it, I love this for the Gemini because Gemini is so, you're so creative and very eccentric. And I feel like a lot of colors suit. When I think of Geminis, I, for some reason, there's a lot of colors that come to mind. So this, you know, you may dress very well, very unique and good at matching, good at blending, you know, tones together and putting outfits. I just feel a strong sense of abundance coming from you. Now, secondly, you could be dealing with um, a woman. This could be the same woman that I mentioned before that could help bring abundance to you. She might be a little bit odd, though. A little bizarre, kind of toots her own horn goes to her own beat, you know, she, and she's a tough cookie to crack, but there could be a lot of abundance in dealing with this individual, or this is you. I'm getting dual things. I feel like, you know, um, having strength, a lot of fire energy though, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Leo. It's going to re require strength dealing with somebody that because they're just very kind of getting spunky. They're kind of free at the mouth. They say things sometimes before they think and you're very much a thinking sign. So you're like, okay, you know, but there's potential to move forward to happiness with this individual. You may go on a little trip or get away with them. There will be fighting though. <laughs> Um, but I don't think it's anything you can't get over. You know, there's just this, I'm sensing whoever you're dealing with, very strong energies coming together. So that's great for abundance and working, but there could be some hiccups in the road and stuff like that. Your read's a little bit all over the place and kind of like blah, 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 blah. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um... But I'm general and sensing when it comes to love, like whatever soulmate situation you've had, it's not really the greatest. It didn't turn out to be the most romantic, vibrant thing. Some of you may not really be that interested in working it out anymore, but but you like hang in there because you know, you're very you value family and strongly. You or the cross watcher, I don't know. This won't apply to everybody, but in general you are ending with the sun card and the chariot. So I think, you know, this could be traveling. This could be, it's going towards happiness, having a victory in something. So I think, you know, at the end of the day, it ends well. It's just about having patience with each other and whatever it is that you're doing. Um, but you will be moving forward to some new interesting things, maybe a little more balance in the future. Okay. So that's kind of what I have for you. I don't, I know it kind of came out like a splatter, but that's what it wanted to do. 
<laughs> okay? All right, Gemini, I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.